Heidi, so this is a little bit different. Basically, I'm thinking I might have an ACL or meniscus injury um, in my leg because I have to walk on crutches right now. Got an x-ray, it's not broken. I'm really kind of tired right now. I woke up, I still wanna get a video out for you guys. Like I said, um, in a I think literally last video, I don't like to do videos when I'm sad. Um, I'm not necessarily like super sad. Um, I'm just, you know, I'm a little tired, but I'm still gonna make this and I, yeah, okay. <laughs> so because I told you guys on my community tab what actually happened, I'm just gonna like put that on the screen right now, um, kind of what happened and I'll just explain it a little bit better also now. But anyway, basically what happened, um, for like a more in-depth story, um, of how I hurt my leg and might have a meniscus tear or whatever, I have to go to the orthopedic and get like a MRI scan, which is the thing where you like go through the conveyor belt and they, you know, basically like scan your body to see like, you know, what's going on with it a little bit more in depth than like an x-ray. So basically, yeah, I was playing kickball with some friends from church. Um, I actually literally just met them, which the funny thing is like literally like a week ago, like the day of like it being the one week that I actually met these people. Cause as a lot of you guys know, I'm visiting my mom in Kentucky. And so I wanted to go to a new church um, in this area. And I really liked this church already. There were a lot of people my age that I could just, you know, I mean, have a fun time with. They were nice and they were just friendly people, you know? And so there were a lot of kids and then there was a guy named Luke my age. Um, and then, you know, my brother, he was playing um, with us. Well, basically there was a guy as he was running to get the ball, he actually, um, he ran into my leg and just my leg, like no other part of my body. And my leg basically turned at a 90 degree angle and I heard a loud pop sound. So this loud pop sound, it wasn't like your ordinary, just like, you know, you know, you pop your leg, kind of like stretching it. It was like a loud pop. Like, I mean, it was so loud. And then immediately after I like kind of, you know, when you get hurt and you kind of cringe a little bit. So then like, you kind of reflex back the way your leg would normally be. Well, I did that super fast and I heard another pop. So I don't know if it popped back into place or really what happened with that, but my leg isn't like all wonky. It's just, it's been super swollen. I actually have it sitting on my armrest right now so I can keep it elevated. Cause that's like one of the things you're supposed to do. And I really do appreciate all your kind comments cause it really does mean a lot. <laughs> you know, I know it, I know it kind of sounds silly. Like what's a YouTube comment gonna do, but like, just, you know, people showing that they care. It's kind of motivating because, um, you know, you feel a little less alone, kind of feel like, you know, people do care, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> it sounds so silly, but, um, you, you know. Well, anyway, end of the day, yeah, I got my x-ray. Um, I actually had somebody from my church, they offered to take me to the um, urgent care which was really interesting because they were actually an ICU nurse. It was a 24 year old guy um, he just had graduated out of college and had just been working, um, as a nurse for like literally like a year. So it was really crazy how that worked. Long story short, after the whole thing was said and done, I literally, um, was driving home with my leg that wasn't injured cause it was my left leg that got injured and I saw rainbow. So made me feel better. <laughs> I know it's kind of silly. It's just the little things sometimes that can just make you feel all better. And because this game is like kind of like me telling a story and a little bit less focused on gameplay, I'm literally going to, um, I'm going to include this game no matter what. So I might just play absolutely horribly. I've never played with an injured leg before. I've never actually worn crutches or I guess you don't wear them, but those are going to be my excuses to get out of the way right now. Also, we're going to have a sharp two iron this game, which is you know, not going to be the best. So yeah, sorry if this is a little bit, um, I don't know, it's too serious. Like I normally don't do too serious videos. Um, I kind of like to be silly, but you know, a serious situation does require a little bit of seriousness sometimes. And I think, you know, that's kind of an important thing of life is sometimes you got to be able to be serious. Sometimes you got to be able to be silly. If you don't have either one, you're just going to be confused. I don't know. I don't know the good word for it, but yeah, something really interesting through this situation is you know, just how, I mean, how kind really a lot of people I've just seen been, I mean, like, <laughs> I guess you don't really know how much people care about you until something bad happens, which is kind of, I don't know, you'd rather the bad thing not happen, but it can still make you feel better because you know that people are there for you in a way. And I'm not just talking like 
purely YouTube. I mean, you know, people at my church, you know, people in my family, it's just, you know, people have been really um, kind and I'm just really grateful because, I mean, it really is just something that um, could be taken for granted, I guess. I see lava over there. People are probably fighting somewhere. Oh, yep, there is a person. Okay, 25, this could be a perfect kill. Aiden's right here, he's like smelting something. Okay, he's at 20, so maybe we kill him. I don't know if he has a head, he might. Oh, he has gaps. I think I'm dead then if I don't drop him, so I just have to go in. Okay. Oh, I died. 